I'm sitting at a table with a lot of fossil specimens on it, and these are very early fossil specimens from the uh, early part of the hominid record. Hominids are what we call any species that's related to Homo sapiens. They might not have the Homo in front of them. This, these species, for example, are, are Australopithecus. And Australopithecus uh, is known from about 3.6 million years ago until about 2.9 million years ago. This one sitting up here is one of the most famous ones, Lucy. And you can see that Lucy uh, has, is most of a skeleton. M might look like it's missing a lot of pieces, but it's great for to find a fossil like this because we can look at the length of the arms. We can look at the femur over here and the tibia, and we can put this together to know that Lucy was a biped, walked on two legs, uh, but still had pretty long arms. So uh, this species obviously climbed trees, but also walked on the ground. They probably climbed trees to get away from predators like uh, large hyenas, saber-toothed cats, etc. Lucy was found in uh, 1973 and 20 years later in 1993, they finally found a skull, a complete skull. You can see Lucy's missing her skull. And this is a male of Australopithecus afarensis. And the interesting thing about this is his skull is so much larger than Lucy's. And this indicates to us that the males were much larger than the females in general and were very similar to gorillas in their uh, size differences between males and females. The rest of the skulls on this table uh, are uh, other representatives of Australopithecus, some from South Africa, some from Kenya, some from Tanzania. And we can see here that we have an artist's reconstruction of one of the babies that were found. It's called Salam from Ethiopia that was about three years old. And of course, up here is a reconstruction of Lucy standing uh, by, and these are to scale. This is the absolute height of Lucy, which was about uh, a meter tall or three feet. <laughs>